Scripps Health tells 10 News it needs to restructure. That's after a report that it missed last year's budget by several million dollars. 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner is live in Hillcrest. And Jennifer, how will this impact patients? Well, that's the big concern tonight. Scripps says this is going to help patients, but naturally there are still concerns. Scripps Mercy in Hillcrest just behind me is one of the five San Diego hospitals in this group. There are 15 thousand employees at Scripps Health, 3,000 doctors. Some people believe cuts will absolutely impact patients. Employees inside the local $2.9 billion private health system are facing layoffs. Scripps Health confirmed with the UT that it missed the annual budget by $20 million and that cuts in the new year are necessary to stay competitive. In part of a statement to 10 News, the CEO indicated those cuts would be high up. Changes we are making now will involve our leadership and administrative services. Seems to be an indication of just how much big business has gotten into health care. And we want to make sure that in the rush to make sure that they have a good bottom line financially, that the bottom line doesn't affect patient care. Local patient safety advocate Marion Hollingsworth has concerns over how administrative layoffs could trickle down to compromise the sick and injured. Is there going to still be enough oversight to ensure patient safety? Scripps Health reports that hiring won't stop for patient caregivers. It claims the restructuring is meant to improve quality and lower costs for patients, and that it has to be done in part because the uninsured will once again be growing nationally from the elimination of the individual mandate under the Affordable Care Act. Meanwhile, the hospital group will continue plans for $2.6 billion in new construction to comply with state earthquake building requirements. And tonight, we still don't know when exactly those cuts are going to take effect. Let's go back to you in the studio.